Hello guys, what is going on? It is the Gaming Guru here, welcome back to more. Let's play Banjo Kazooie. And in the last episode, we finished off Click Clock Wood, and I'm just scrolling on my computer here. Um, we were, and I never said what was up next, but what's up next is something that we're finally going to use Brentilda for. And we've only found two Cheeto books, so we're going to be, um, I'm going to get him to what? First, Brentilda. And you might just sort of click because I have a guide up for where to find her. So here's the first one. And what's going to happen here is she's going to give us information about Grunty's old life. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. That shaking text is what you got to remember. She also washes her hair with engine oil. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's Boutique. And Brentilda will only give you three facts per time that you visit. So, so the next one should be on the pipes atop the entrance to Clanker's Damn It Cavern. Okay, yeah. I know where that is. What's up here? I'm. I might end up cutting for some of these because some of them who some of them who might be might might be farther away from each other. So there may be a cut, but these are close by, so I'm not gonna bother cutting it. There she is. Grunty wears a flea circus under that impulsive dress of hers. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. And that's our three Brentilda facts for their next location. I believe. Um, near the Click Clock Wood Puzzle Station. Which is just down here. So once again, we don't need to go. We might, I might actually not cut at all because they're, I think they're all pretty close together. I've got like the fastest route up to find them. Yep, she's over there. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at Witch School. I also know that sweaty gorilla feet is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is gruesome green. Sweaty gorilla feet. Alright. Um... Yeah, behind the giant Grunty statue, I knew there was one there. Which is just in the next room. Here's the giant Grunty statue. Oh, I didn't make the jump. Whatever. There she is. Hello. My lazy sister often sleeps in a dumpster, the dirty hag. The only thing she's ever won, the sweatiest socks competition. Oh, it's the sweatiest socks competition. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, polishing her crystal ball. Um, I think that's all of them. Yeah, that was always three. Okay, let's see. Next location of Brentilda. In the right alcove tunnel near the entrance to Bubble Group Swamp, which is right over here. I literally had the, the um, rare Wikipedia up to look at this because I am not going to remember. Was it this one or was it the other one? It was the other one. Yep, there she is. Alright. My fat old sister's favorite sport is loogie flicking. Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. You won't believe that Guntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. Let's see. Near the Gilby's Valley Puzzle Station, the fall of the lava walkway till the end. That is where the second Cheetah location was. And that one's decently far away, but that's not too bad. I'll make it quick. As long as I don't die and screw up a bunch of times. 
I, I, I was not looking forward to this because I was like, man, I'm going to have to cut so much. And it's going to be annoying because I suck when it comes to editing videos on time. I still have a video that I need to edit. Um, and it's been in there for like two months. It's not, it's not like a super important video, but it's just in there and it's bugging me. And I still haven't done it. Wrong place. No, 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 no. The, um... Yeah, but I'm, I'm really lazy when it comes to editing videos. So, if I can avoid editing a video, I would do that. Because, A, it takes me forever to edit a video. Because for me to get it in and out of the editing software for a 20-minute video takes like an hour. It's so annoying. Okay. Yep, there's Brentilda. Now we don't have to do this as the pumpkin, which means we can do this! Alright. Yep. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. I thought it was going to say the chandelier. She also has a loogie, a yeah, loogie bush growing in a pot beside her bed, a filthy old bag. I don't even know what a loogie is. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous sweaty yellow undies. It's brilliant. Find a gravestone next to the Mad Monster Mansion entrance. Oh, 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 jeez, that was close. And take the leap. Oh no, I overshot. In a way, I did overshoot. Oh well. Um. Now, if only there wasn't one in Mad Monster Mansion, and then I had died, because that kind of would have been convenient. There's probably going to be two or three more episodes of Edge because it's going to be done real soon. Um. Alright. No, nope, not that one. Where is she? Or maybe this one. Yep. Okay, give me give me my facts. Did you know what it what bag? What bags keeps a shrunken head in her pocket for luck? I've also seen my sister cuddling a huge sweaty baboon in bed at night. She's really proud of her broomstick, it's the top of the range Rough Rider Deluxe. Was she really cuddling the baboon, or was she doing something else with it? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised if the if that was what the developers really meant. They meant uh, they didn't mean cuddling. They meant um, something else. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Behind Gobi's Valley, damn it! Entrance. Why'd you give that one to me now? Okay, well, let's go to the Goombies Valley entrance. No waiting boots in sight, so let's go. Because I'm lazy. That is Brenty. Grunty's best friend at which school was the awful Fatty Hattie. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. While, strip while sipping a class of her favorite smoothie elephant sweat. Oh, awesome, yes! Free health, that old nothing actually was. I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Do, 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 do. Okay. Two more. And then Cheeto. And then we're gonna head to the, um, uh, sandcastle and input the codes. 
So, one of the last two Brentildas is up here. Of course he didn't jump. I hit the button and I didn't jump. Go figure. Go figure. Go figure. A lot of warps I haven't found either, but I'm not too concerned about that. I have the important one. Okay. Now let's make the jump. And speak to Gruntilda. A disgusting Gruntilda has spider pancakes for breakfast. Then she usually has dog dung burgers for dinner. Warp Bags then finishes with rat sorbet for dessert. Holy crap, that is disgusting. And if it was Spider Man pancakes, that's another story. Spider Man pancakes, those would probably be pretty good. But not spider pancakes. Unless they were just spider shaped pancakes, just normal spider shaped pancakes. That then that might be pretty good too. Knowing Grunty, it's obviously not. It's probably a pancake made out of spider meat or something. Spider meat? What? What would even be considered spider meat? I don't know. Just... You don't have to go to Brentilda at all. If you memorize these answers, then then you don't need to go to Brentilda, but I'm just showing off A, the locations, and B, oh, what the actual facts are for those of you who haven't played the game. Because if I went and did the thing that I needed to do uh, without going to Brentilda, I could probably still do it. Here we go. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is collecting dragon teeth. That's not that bad of a pastime. This poor guy called Undead Ed was her first and only boyfriend. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a mad vulture as a pet. And that's the last Brentilda. Now, you'll hear me clicking because I'm going to look up the last Cheetah location. I hit back. Back. Screw you, laggy internet. Damn it. Oh, shoot. It's like crashing. No. No. Wait. No. Oh, it's connecting. Connecting. My internet is being really bad this morning for whatever reason. Was there anything through here? Oh, that's the entrance to it. Ah, okay, yes, got it. Ah, uh, Cheeto locations. Let's see. That's tough. It's this way. I don't remember. Ah. Yeah, I need to make the water level in here rise even higher than before. Alright. Now we need to 
swim to the Rusty Bucket Bay area. Supposedly. This is supposedly what I have to do. And then there should be like a hole in the wall somewhere at the top. With like stairs. Ah, no! 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 I have to go do that again now. Oh, well, at least I know where it is. Oh, well. Now, of course, now that I do know where it is, I should be able to make it, get that last Cheeto. Then I might cut to the sand castle, I might not, because these are just the final preparations. And then based on the time, I might do the last thing. So this might be a shorter video or a longer video. Let's go. Oh yeah, I was no way I'm not making that. Wait, what? Oh yeah, there, this is it. Yep, there he is. Baron Burton getting good at finding Jito, so another spell they shall have. That traitor buck has precious luck, so in the burning fire, I'll chuck. Find Cheeto, which won't. Cody must enter on Sand Castle floor on Treasure Trove. Cove is gold feathers. So, our three codes, yeah, I'm gonna have a separate episode for, um, the, uh, last thing we have to do, so you don't have to watch this episode if you don't want to. But, um... What are we gonna? No, we gotta go down. Yeah, through there. Cause so I'm gonna head into Click Clock Wood to get to. Um. Oh, my bad. Click Clock Wood is still through here. Uh, I'm gonna head into Click Clock Wood so we can warp back to very near to the location of Treasure Trove Cove. We'll head into the Sand Castle. Hmm. We'll put our three codes in, and we shall end the video there, and then I will see you for possibly the final episode. <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the next episode could possibly be the final episode, I don't know for sure. There might be one more. So this will be a 27 or a 28 part LP. It's a short game. Over the mutant crab. And into the chest, chest that is gigantic. I know some of you probably found this video quite boring, and you didn't have to watch it. I mean, if you really don't like, don't enjoy seeing me do things like this, then uh, it doesn't matter to me if you don't watch this one or not. If you don't want to watch. Ah, uh, the preparations. Um, wait, there he is. Couldn't find Mr. Leaky. There we go. Leaky patched up, now empty water for bear. And into the sandcastle we go. So. 
I threw out. Let's get rid of this fool. Okay, let me get out of the water, please. Alright, so we have where's an R? R? There you go. R so we have R E D F Um E A T Here's the H. Uh, H. E. R. S. And now we have double red the red feathers. All my feathers, it makes me sick. Fly to me, your butt I'll kick. Next one we're gonna put in is blue eggs. So B. L. U E E G G S And the last one is gold eggs <laughs> uh, Okay, we have hit the damn thing. G O. Where's the L? There it is. And the D's over here somewhere. Yeah. F E A T H. E R S. There is all of our cheats. Gold feathers, you may have twenty, but bruises you'll still get plenty. Yep, that's true. But guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Next video where mm, is possibly gonna be the finale. I will decide that myself later on. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like and that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Twitter in the description below. And of course, have a fantastic day.